In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an audio assignment using Moodle. Uh, this one is for you, Kathy Jackson. So what we're looking at here on the screen is the finished product, what we're eventually going to get to. And this is a submitted assignment, so I, I created a test assignment. Um, I'm on a MacBook, so when I open this, it's going to download, and I'll click on it down here, and it's submitting an assignment to Kathy Jackson's audio assignment. Sorry. Okay, so it, it opened in went on to some Adele. So on the MacBook here, it opens on the iTunes. I tried it out on our uh, Windows 8 PC, and it opens up on Windows Media Player. So it seems to work pretty well. So let me show you how to get there. So I'm going to go uh, back to ChambersGov and let it think. There we go. And I'm going to go down just to a uh, random topic. And you see this is the one I've already created. So I'll add a new activity and start from fr uh, fresh. I'm just going to add a simple assignment. And it'll open up the information page. And we'll call it Test Audio Assignment. And then down here, I'll put my instructions. And a cool feature here is this mic button. And I can actually add my own audio instructions uh, as well. I could also record my own video instructions with a webcam. I could draw a picture. I'm not sure why I'd want to do that. Take a picture. Uh, if you don't see all these features down here, click on this button up top. This is your toggle toolbar button and you can turn some of those on and off. So um, I won't record instructions now. I did on the previous one uh, just to test it out and it does work. I'm going to display those descriptions on the page. Um, now here is where I think we have our trick. I'm going to um, uncheck all the default settings and I'm going to check the online audio recording. All of the other settings, uh, set how you'd like. Uh, the default is OK. It, it records as an MP3, which is what we want it to record as. Uh, feedback type, submission settings, all those are just uh, your, your wants and your needs. Nothing special about any of that. Um, and we can save and return to course. OK. So let's click on it and see what it looks like from the student perspective. Uh, the students obviously will not see this stuff up here. That's just for the teachers. The students will see this section down here about their submission status. We have no attempt. So we will add a submission. Now the first time I did this, it asked for permission to use my microphone, which I gave it. Uh, so you'll want to make note of that to your students that when it asks for permission, to give it. The other thing that also happened is a pop-up came oops, sorry, a pop-up came up beneath the URL up here I, and I didn't notice that for about 30 seconds and it wasn't working and I had to come up here and click allow one more time up here so uh, if their microphone is not working tell them to look around their web page and see if there is some add-on that's looking for permission to use the microphone that you need to give. Once we are ready to record, we're going to press the record button and it has already started recording right away. So it's recording what I'm saying right now as a submission. I can stop it and name it Chambers Test Assignment and I can save or let's say I didn't like it, press record and it starts over and we can record from scratch. So, oh no, I made a mistake. Stop. I can play it back, see if I like it, press record, and I can record my new assignment here, and then when I'm ready to be done, press stop, save, it's going to upload, I'll need to ask it to upload, and there we go. And then I always remind my students to save changes, and you have now submitted, uh, submitted an assignment using audio. So, hope that helps. Uh, and come back and check out more tutorials.